corner from Birmingham, England, Nathan in England, George Musakitis! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mud. Look, tell a man no trouble. I don't want beef, man. I just want vibes. Big man like me, no need for the telephone hype. I got too much getting online. One rule, then let them on sight. Wrong move, I bet they gon' ride. No need for the telephone hype, nah. No need for the snoozing. Big whip outside, I'm cruising. Big stick inside, no losing. Better watch out for the snake and Judas's. Don't ask them who this is. I bet they know what I'm moving in. I bet I show it into a dam. How you hating and lose again? How you hating my vibes? Why you wasting my time? Getting hype on my line. Tell a man I don't want feedback. I just want relax. Brand new with two tone. I need that brand new. And so, ladies and gentlemen, our road to one championship semi final number one. This Muay Thai rules bout takes place in the 65.9 kilogram division and will be contested over three, three minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, in the black corner, at yesterday's weigh in, he scaled 65. 0.6 kilograms. He brings a superb record, 35 fights with 27 wins. Eight wins coming inside the scheduled distance and only eight losses. From Birmingham, England is Nathan Bindle! And across the ring in the white corner at yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 65.7 kilos. He brings an excellent record of 27 fights with 26 wins. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout and only the single defeat representing Petsnoy and AC's gym in Leamington, England. It's Gilles Muzakitis! And your referee in charge, Chris Basildor. Here we go then, we're back with Ricky Sewell for the first of our semi-finals for the Road to One Championship contract. Nathan Benden from Birmingham, fighting out of his own gym, Dominate Academy, taking on George Mazakusis from Pechnoi, trained by Scott Robinson. Mate, here we go. Interesting, interesting fight. Jo the George you know has what? only had one fight back after a long layoff, and obviously he went to MMA. Yeah. He's had a lot of experience in the MMA gloves. Will it be Benden won beneficial a very close to his decision in the quarterfinal? Mm, yeah. To be fair, both lads didn't look as good as they have done recently. Nathan's been on fire. I just hope that uh, George keeps his chin down. Yeah. Because it was you a little bit. It was a little bit. It high was hanging out to drive. He already can see he's tightened up that guard. You cannot do that with Nathan Benden, especially in them little gloves. One of those things now where these next two fights, I'm mates with all the lads. I'll be buzzing for whoever wins the contract. But it's going to be exciting to see what happens now and who goes to the final. But this is, th these guys, these guys have, have got to perform. They're going to be up against the likes of Liam Harrison, yeah. Nunga. Exactly. So this is, this is where they've got to show Liam that, Harrison. that they're, they're up to that level. Siri, Mung Tai, like the elite of the elite. 
I think George needs to keep him there, back Ooh. him up. Body shot loves that. They loves that body shot. shot. George just giving that, giving him, giving that up he's a little bit. Him he needs, to, he needs yeah. to commit, commit and stand, stand strong. He's, he's not. Like once he gets, once he gets caught, he's kind of. He's just lifting it. He's not him, giving him it. Allowing himself to be falling on the floor. Oh, that's a heavy body shot by Nathan there. This is better from, better from Nathan from, um, from his last performance. He has, he's mixed yeah. it up a little bit more. He's, he's in and he's out. He already looked sharper than he did in that previous fight on the uh, the Sheffield show. He looks more confident as well. Definitely. I think. For both of the lads on that show, there was a lot of chopping and changing of opponents. We had pullouts. Jack Kennedy pulled out. Brian Totty pulled out. Then we had two new foreigners that then swapped opponents within a week's notice. It all got a bit crazy. Nice body kick pulled out by George. Some marking on George's yeah, face it looks already. Like a, it looks like a fingernail to me. It looks like he's been poked. Ooh. Nice little up on the inside there by George and a good position in the clinch, but nothing happening. Global rule set, remember, no, the clinch, you have to work. Oh, big shot, big shot. Nice jab by George there. This one's exciting. This one's going good so far. Backwards and forwards action. Both guys taking shots. Yeah, Benden, Benden did a good job of just closing him down. Good he's, knee he, by Nathan He's, he's standing in his face. Oh, elbow by George, just missing. Coming into the last 10 seconds of the opening round. Nice jab by George, and that's a stiff, sharp jab. And again. Oh, oh! Oh, Nathan rushing too much there, though. He yeah, wobbled George you've then. You've got to be careful rushing in these gloves. It only takes one little shot. Yeah. Only one he little wobbled, counter. He wobbled George then. That will tip the round. Nathan showed all three of those just then. To edge out the round. George isn't committing to that kick. Nah. I see him. You can see him pull it out. Pull then. it out before he's even landed. Like he was scared of it getting caught already. So if he's, if he's not comfortable doing it, he should be pushed to knee instead. Nice he's body do, kick there by Nathan. Something. I don't think he's going to outbox Nathan, so he's got to no. decide to mix it up to then land his, land his shots. Nice to see Nathan kicking this time as well. I yeah, know I he's been. I don't think he, he, he threw a kick the last time. I don't think he wanted to. He thought he was going to bomb his head off. Nice shots by Nathan. Nathan's full of confidence now. Full of confidence now. And pouring on the pressure. George needs an answer now. George has got to hit him with something to, to, to stop this onslaught. Yeah. He's got to something make, meaningful yeah, needs make, to make, come back make now. Bendham think, because at the minute, Bendham's just happy to walk through anything. Yeah. George's punches at the minute don't seem to have that mm about them, that dig about them. He's just kind of pouring them out there. He needs to really sit down and dig a big shot in. Like you say, give Nathan something to think about. I mean, it's easier said than done, but... Yeah, of course it is. Nice right hand there. Keeps dropping his head, George. Yeah. Got to be careful. Now, people forget and underestimate Nathan now as well. Since he left Corfit and went to Peter Prachanso with Tony and, and Dean for a bit. He improved his style, he improved in clinch, he got technically better. He's still got the animal in him, but he's technically a lot better now as well. Good luck it by Nathan. There's that squeeze. Coming into the last minute of round two. Nothing significant for me coming from George at the moment. The kick there, yes it landed, but it's not an effective scoring nah, shot. He's got, to, he's got to mean it. Yeah. He's got to, got to throw it if he gets caught and not worried because yeah. that still scores unless, unless uh, Nathan dumps him. It's a little bit better. But nah, he's just been pushed over. But it scores. It's showing dominance. It is showing dominance. Oh, skip right hand, left hand there from Nathan. 
10 seconds left of the second round. Oh, being shot again by Nathan. And again, George under pressure from the punches again of Nathan Mendon. Again for me. George is cut now. George is cut now as well. Under his right eye. It's another round in the back for Nathan Mendon for me. The first semi-final at the moment. Nathan Mendon, we've got on our unofficial scorecards, two rounds up. George needs a knockout, or at least a count. But Nathan is actually looking like he's on form tonight. I think that cut is uh, distracted George, but that's yeah. it. He's just got to go for it. Forget he's about got, it. He's got to. Again, like you said, Rick, he's dipping down, though. Attempts at a takedown there by George. Kind of sweet by Nathan. Nathan just needs to sharpen up though. Last round, yeah, not swinging. I'd like, to, I'd like to see him mix it up a little bit more. Like maybe hit the leg and then go up. At the yeah. minute he's, he's just a bit too much boxing. He needs to needs to distract that with something else. He's not using it like sharp though, is he? He's just like getting giddy and swinging the right hand. When Nathan throws his shots sharp in those little gloves, that's when he's dangerous. Like you say, it's a shot that you don't see, but if you're expecting to be Is that Nathan here, cut as well now? Yeah. Nathan's cut as well now. I didn't see what with. Not sure what he was with. Good right hand. That's better from George. He's got to stay there. Good shots by Nathan, just missing. George's right eye closing now. His ear bleeding as well now. George's right ear bleeding. Both guys dipping their heads down, being insane. <laughs> Halfway through the last round, both guys gasping for air, looking tired, they'll give it their all in this fight. Some good hands there by Nathan, caught with some shots of his own though. Just over a minute. Well, both guys are giving it their all, you can give them that. Oh, 100%. Both guys have performed now. Then nice both body, kick, nice the body kick, body kick. Exactly, this is what you need to, like, again, Nathan swinging there. Step it slowly, pick your shots nice and fast for your shots. George looks tired now, he's looking at the clock. Nathan calling him on saying, let's have a fight. Oh, big left hook from good, Nathan yeah. there. Nathan Mendon seconds to go in the third and final round. At the minute, looking like Nathan's gonna go through to the final, unless something dramatic happens in the last 20 seconds. Ooh, nice elbow through the middle there by Nathan. The stepping up elbow. 10 seconds. <laughs> Nathan just won. One in a row. I mean, clearly don't realise he's won the fight. Just like, let's just blow it all away. <laughs> Good body kick by George. But a little bit too little, too late. Yeah, I, I think that was by far George's best round, but yeah, like you say, I think... Um, too little, too late there for George. But hats off. Well done. Let's have a massive round of applause for our Road to One semi-finalists, please, ladies and gentlemen. Three excellent rounds of action. And at the end of those three completed rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards, where we have a split decision in favour of your winner. From Birmingham, England, in the black corner, Nathan Bender! Show your appreciation for our runner-up, George Muzokitis. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure, if you don't want to miss out, you need to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.